Okay, well, look, let's get the tactics board up here and have a look at how these teams might line out. So this is based on what everyone is expecting from, you know, the last day out and, you know, will, will the teams more or less stay the same? Now, Niall O'Leary, he is a bit of a, an injury concern for Cork there, cornerback. So we'll wait and see how he gets on and maybe he'll be ready for the game. Maybe he won't. I think Shane Kingston, he got he did get a goal the last day before halftime when uh, Cork saw off Dublin by 226 to 24 points. They certainly pulled away towards the end after Dublin had the lead from eight points to four. So I think, but I think Shane Kingston, his position might be slightly under threat here. And I have a little fancy that Shane Barrett might start this game. I could be wrong, but I just think he's a guy, every day he's come in, he's hit the ground runner. It's a lot to ask a lad to come into an All-Ireland semi-final. But, you know, so often you talk to, to former players and Ben O'Connor, I did an interview with him just before the quarterfinal against Dublin. You can look it up on the, on the playlist there on the YouTube channel or on the website. And he was saying, throw them in, throw Shane Barrett in, throw in Alan Connolly. He's happy to see these guys go in there. And like there's, there's so many of these players that fe it feels like they have hit the ground running. Like Jack O'Connor, this is probably his third season in there. But at this point... He's established as one of the most exciting players in the game. Conor Cahalan, now not everything has come off for him, but he's named at number 10 and he's been operating out around midfield. And I thought he's done a pretty good job. And, that, you know, obviously that'll provide some sort of a conundrum for, for, um, for Kilkenny in this game. Because I think Luke Mead is probably going to drop a little bit deep. Jeremy Millerick is going to do a man-marking job on somebody, as he tends to do uh, pretty much every day now. And I, I just wonder, is the pace of this Cork team like, they feel a little bit different than a couple of years ago. We keep talking about how there's a little bit of a change, that Cork are a common team. Like, they still have Patrick Horgan, who looked very good the last day out against uh, Dublin, especially when they got decent ball into him, which they did at times, some of that lovely crossfield ball. But Robbie O'Flynn, he's matured on a little bit. He was very poor against Limerick, but we all know the class he has. Seamus Harrandy had to come out injured early against Limerick. And, like, his form the last day against Dublin, he scored four points from play, and he roasted them at times. And his poker, like... His ability to win puck outs both against Limerick and last day against Dublin was massive. Dara Fitzgibbon, he's maturing all the time. Luke Mead, in terms of like sitting deep and the ability to drive forward with the ball, but also forage for ball and, and find the right players with it. And, you know, as I said, Conor Cahalan. And then you have the likes of Tim O'Mahony coming through like a steam train like he did the last day. He has that Kyle Hayes-like ability to get forward on the ball. You have Coleman, who will be a playmaker. And as I said, Millerick as the spoiler. They have a nice little blend of Everton there, as far as I can see. No, they definitely do. Uh, I think you mentioned Dara Fitzgibbon there. I think that's the that's the area that where Cork will definitely look look to go to town. Like Kilkenny don't have an obvious midfield partnership. Uh, I think we both kind of think that Mikey Carey is the likeliest to come in at wing back to replace Connor Brown, who I believe has a, a serious enough hamstring injury and would struggle to play even even if they were to get to an All Ireland final. But Carey brings pace coming in. Connor Brown's uh, loss with regards to his pace is should definitely be noted because he would have absolutely no issue tracking one of those Cork guys and obviously would have won if it's given UCC and would have known would know them very, very well too. But you look at Dara Fitzgibbon at midfield, it was Richie Reid the last day and I think Richie Lahey as well. Uh, Richie Reid has obviously played centre-back for Ballyhale but like wouldn't necessarily be a, no a noted defender. Richie Lahey would be a midfielder that would be more going forward whereas someone's going to have to pick up Dara Fitzgibbon and someone's going to have to stop him getting up ahead of steam and you know running with a load of ball he didn't score much the last day but he had a massive influence on the scoreboard yeah sorry to jump in there now I made flow but you're talking about who will who will match up with Dara Fitzgibbon and his running ability and I'm also thinking Michael Carey comes into the team and one thing that stood out for him the last few games when he did come in is just brilliant pace like he, he certainly was uh, it was very notable how fast he was when he came in I wonder, like I had initially thought that James Maher would mark Robbie O'Flynn here. I'll bring it up on the screen again. So I would have thought that James Maher would be trying to tag Robbie O'Flynn in this game, as he, as he has done in the last few games against Lee Chin and Danny Sutcliffe, and done well on both occasions, eventually winning the battle with Very Sutcliffe, well, yeah. albeit Dublin. You know, they were down so many players that I think Sutcliffe had an impossible task at that time. So I don't, I don't blame Sutcliffe for that. But maybe it'll be a case that because Richie Lahey doesn't stand out as a man-marker type, type guy. And I remember a couple of years ago in the All-Ireland final against um, Tipperary, he had a very rough day, I think on Noel McGrath that day. So maybe in terms of ma picking someone up, they might throw James Maher out to midfield and maybe Michael Carey's pace might match up with Robbie O'Flynn. Now, Porrick Walsh, I'm sure Kilkenny aren't going to leave themselves quite as open as this kind of suggests <laughs> here. But that's not going to be the way it pans out. 
But Porrick Walsh then, will he be picking up Harnady? Harnady fancies himself in the air, and rightly so. But Porrick Walsh isn't bad there either. How, how do you see Cork trying to get a little bit of change here? And even from the Kilkenny point of view, Paddy Deegan, I'm sure he's not going to like having one-on-one ball into Jack O'Connor's hand and Jack O'Connor turning on him because his pace is ridiculous. Will Hugh Lawler match up with Patrick Horgan and maybe Tommy Walsh and Shane Kings that are maybe Shane, Shane Barrett, whoever that ends up being? Yeah, I would, have ta- I would have thought maybe Hugh Lawler on, on Patrick Horgan. And Hugh Lawler, to me, is only getting better as well. Um, and will be trying to... It's obviously, you don't mind the square maybe as much as he used to uh, in Hurling now, but uh, I, I'd imagine he will be definitely one of the two lads inside, and I'd imagine he pick up Horgan in there. Uh, Hugh Lawler's a bit of a freak in the sense that like he's 6 foot 4 or 5, but it still has the mobility to be able to pick up an inside forward and could... You know, potentially pick up any of those inside forwards there, and you wouldn't imagine he'd be he'd be done for pace either. But we talked we talked all year about um, Kilkenny having almost like a, a load of guys that can only play wing back. But when you're matching up here, there's not a huge amount of wing back candidates here. You know, if you're saying that Mikey Carey goes to the other side, you're still looking at like does does Killian Buckley potentially come in wing back, who's been only used off the bench recently mm. and been used to finish games. So, yeah, it's 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 going to be interesting because it's you can't just really lob somebody in there, you know. It's going to have to be some. It's probably going to be. It could be potentially a, a matchup that they're going to go after. Maybe someone else will pick up will pick up Harnady, Someone that maybe they think Harnady won't destroy them for pace, maybe as much as a Robbie O'Flynn, and they'll try and not get away with someone, but they'll try and put someone maybe tagging him uh, that will be able to match him in the air as well, but. It, it does look a small bit ropey for Kilkenny around that midfield and half back area. It, it definitely does. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see what they do there. And I do say again, Connor Brown's absence is uh, is definitely taking away a lot from them. 